So the class for discussion is methods of estimation of blood loss. This is one of the very important topics that has to be covered for both theory purpose and your day-to-day -day practice of uh, anesthesiology, wherein you will see cases on day-to-day -day basis where there is estimated amount of blood loss, which is more than 1000 ml, or when the patient is throwing a postpartum hemorrhage, how on on can you estimate blood loss? And what are the ways to mitigate the any toughened situations which would arise? And there are non-emergent surgeries like total hip replacement or total knee replacement, wherein you can see a minimal amount of blood loss with a tonic being used or tonic not being used. You can wait and in a non-emergent situation, you can estimate the blood loss even in the post-operative period. So this lecture will cover about how to estimate in an emergent situation as well as in a non-emergent situation. So why this is even important is this is most important step for any anesthesiologist in a perioperative setting because patient management itself is a entirely different topic and it is like into huge area where there is lots of research, where there is lots of upcoming evidences that appropriate transfusion triggers has to be applied to improve the overall recovery of the patient. In major abdominal surgeries or any surgeries per se, in major abdominal surgeries, perioperative anemia is associated with fistulas and anastomotic leaks and it is approved many perioperative anemia is associated with increased morbidity and mortality in patients undergoing major abdominal surgeries or any major surgeries. So the methods for blood loss estimation can be classified into two. One is visual method, the other is calculation method. The most commonly used method is the visual method, wherein you will see, it is the clinical method, wherein you will see what are all the gauzes which are soaked, what are the mop pads which are soaked, how is the floor wet or how long, I mean, what is the loss in the floor and what is the loss in the suction apparatus. So all these you will collectively take into consideration and then give the total amount of blood loss. So this is the most commonly used one and I personally use only this, though this may be less accurate. So one need to understand how much is the amount of blood loss which is there in a 4 into 4 inches at 10 centimeter gauze. If it is very partially soaked, it is 2.5 ml. If it is completely soaked, it is 10 ml. Suppose if it is a 6 into 18 inch uh, laparotomy mop pad, then very partially soaked is 25 ml, half, half soaked is 75 ml, completely soaked will be 130 ml. If it is a laparotomy mop pad of 18 into 18 inch, completely soaked will be 160 ml. So that is how we estimate a blood loss in any acute setting. So if it is partially soaked gauze, it may be 5 ml, completely soaked it is 10 ml. If it is a laparotomy sponge pad, if it is partially soaked, it is 75 ml, completely soaked is 130 ml. But the one which they will use to pack the abdomen with, then if it is completely soaked, it is 160 ml. So again, the same thing. So if it, uh, it is in centimeters, if it is a 10 into 10 centimeters gauze, then the completely soaked will be 10 to 12 ml. If it is 30 centimeters uh, mop pad, it is 100 ml. It is 45 centimeters, it is 160 ml. Each of these centers will use different uh, ways of cutting their gauzes. So you need to find out whether it is 10 to 10 or 13 to 30 in your setup to estimate the blood loss in an effective way. The next is the visual estimation for a PPH. If it is confined only to floor, then it may be attributing to 1000 ml. If it is confined to a 50 centimeter diameter, then the blood loss is somewhere around 500 ml. And if it is confined to 75 centimeters, then it is 1000 ml. If it is confined to like one meter distance, then it is a 1500 ml of blood loss. And one should not forget that under uh, buttock drape that is used in cesarean section patients in our hospital as well. So when it is completely soaked uh, under the patient, that can attribute to around 350 ml of blood loss. If it is partially soaked, then it is 180 ml of blood loss. So this is the visual estimation. So what are the disadvantages of visual estimation is it is less accurate. Whenever you compare with other standard methods like hemoglobin estimation methods, this visual estimation methods always than not underestimates the amount of blood loss. So in emergency situation, you cannot keep calculating how much amount of hemoglobin is there preoperatively, how much is the hemoglobin now, 
and how much is the hemoglobin in the post operative period so in an acute setting whatever you do by visual estimation though it underestimates the amount of blood loss it is the one which is feasible in the clinical setting in india per se and this method if you have to say for cesarean section or any place where you have used a irrigation solution suppose if you have not calculated how much amount of irrigation fluid is there then that also will be calculated as blood loss so that these are the two errors which will be there one which is see which i see as partially soaked you may think it is more than partially soaked so these interpersonal variations is always there in visual estimation and whatever irrigation fluid or amniotic fluid which you use you cannot differentiate between amniotic fluid or by leak and the uh, blood which is leaked so that is the disadvantages of visual analog method visual method so this is another visual method which is the used in emergencies alone it is a, uh, it is most commonly called as the mark method so what you have to do is basically close your uh, keep a clenched fist with palm up covering the pool of blood all you have to do is mukta can you खत्म कर दिए तुमने तो ये ओके सो दिस विजुअल दिस इज आल्सो अ विजुअल एक्सटीमेशन वेर इन यू विल कीप अ क्लोज्ड फिस्ट Uh, place just two inches above the bed pool. More than two inches, you may cover more amount of areas that may lead to decreased uh, estimation of blood loss. So, how many fists you are covering? Say one fist, two fist, three fist. Suppose each fist will accommodate twenty ml. Suppose if there is five fist amount of blood loss, then the blood loss is somewhere around hundred ml. This is useful only in emergency situations, and also this can be used for any patients who is not trained in estimating the blood loss. So the advantage. is of this is simple easy it is the quickest method which you can use in the perioperative period and in emergency situations you have to titrate this along with the patient vitals like what are the uh, vitals of the patient like heart rate blood pressures is the patient anxious how is the respiratory rate and all that if you use it in synchrony with patient vitals this will give you an improved result the disadvantage is the inaccuracy and it is got a 250 ml to 500 ml of inaccuracy when compared with the other methods so as i told earlier flushing fluids amniotic fluids lymph and bile which are there in the circuit of suction apparatus will give you a false positive result so then second one is the calculation method in calculation method you got so much amount like so many methods wherein first one is the weighing calculation second is the concentration calculation calorimetric method hematocrit method hemoglobin calculation in hemoglobin calculation you have two formulas one is hemoglobin mass and the other is hemoglobin dilution so weighing method it is as simple as that it was developed by wangenstein what you do is preoperatively weigh all the mop pads gauze piece laparotomy sponge pads everything before surgery and you see how much amount of irrigation fluid you are using so you have to weigh it preoperatively as well as postoperatively so what was devised is based on the normal density of the blood 1 gram of weight will lead to 1 ml of blood absorption so if preoperatively it was 100 grams and postoperatively if it is weighing 200 grams it means the blood loss is somewhere around 100 ml so what is the total amount of blood loss is total weight of gauze after surgery minus total weight of gauze before surgery plus the amount of fluid in the suction bucket minus the weight of the flushing fluid you have to weigh the flushing fluid suppose if you are giving 1 liters of normal saline you have to weigh the 1 liter of normal saline and subtract it, it from the total amount of the gauze and the amount of fluid in the suction apparatus so the amount of fluid in the suction apparatus also has to be weighed not in the ml so everything is in grams that will give you the total amount of blood loss in ml because we assume that based on the density of blood 1 gram weight will be equal to 1 ml of blood so so this when combined with visual when analyzed with visual scale alone this is more accurate because you are totally weighing everything so when you use it in combination with visual methods this will give you a best result the disadvantage is, is you for a given hematocrit whatever that was there in an ideal patient 1 gram weight of the 
blood will be equal to 1 ml of blood but the density keeps on varying depending upon hematocrit of the patient and perioperative period is very notorious for differences in hematocrits so this is one of the disadvantage 1 gram of weight will not 